please be advised. The following review is just one opinion. The purpose is to at least offer an alternative thought from your own. And we're back. Welcome back to Mr. Flamingo Reviews. Woo! For today, I'll be talking about The Looney Tunes Show. Debuting in 2011, The Looney Tunes Show was a fresh take and reimagining of classic Warner Brothers and Mary Melody's characters. And today, that's what I'm reviewing. Looking back in time, the Looney Tunes characters originally secured a debut in 1930. Public domain soon. Making them, as of this video, 93 years old. Over time, their roster of characters would house fan favorites like the staples Bugs Bunny and Daffy Duck. Propelling them to stardom were animation director icons such as Chuck Jones and Tex Avery. All in all, everything proved to be a recipe for success when the Looney Tunes managed to stand the test of time and make it to this show I'm talking about today. Come on, Porky. We're going to the police. I wouldn't do that if I were you. Drop the shell. Originally billed as Looney Tunes Laugh Riot till it was retooled into the show I'm talking about now, this show takes more cues from the likes of The Simpsons or Seinfeld than it does the likes of classic Looney Tunes. That's not to say that's a bad thing, though, with the animated sitcom premise allowing a more fleshed out and intriguing world. The show overall is reminiscent of Duck Dodgers. Duck Dodgers and the 24th and a half century. And the fact that it's more linear-esque in story than it is sandbox. Sure, there's a plot of the week, but it's like bugs selling a carrot peeler and not Bugs vs. Elmer Fudd in Opera Battles. The stories themselves can be one note at times, but the cleverness and the absurdity the Looney Tunes can bring to a simple sitcom is nothing if not enjoyable. The single clip alone of Daffy in the Marines helping rescue Bugs from prison is the definition of a Looney Tunes bit in Albanian a real-life scenario. Prison. An Albanian prison, thanks. There's nothing adherent to say that this premise is bad because it's just a lot of fun. Bugs? Daffy? What are you doing in an Albanian prison? What are you doing in the Marines? I needed somewhere to go after you kicked me out of the house! Talking about the characters though, the characters lost some of their charm and gumption in the transition to a standard animated sitcom. There's a lot more eccentricities given to some folks and a lot lost to others. Daffy's no longer a bitter rival and is instead a jealous best friend. Bugs has been given the idea of being a clean freak instead of his original character of living in a literal hole. Though, characters such as Lola Bunny are benefited. Lola Bunny in specific because she's given a personality unlike her debut in Space Jam. At its core, this show's presentation is legitimately so unique. Placing all these icons into a basic sitcom format makes everything feel different. Though that wouldn't prove to be a positive for some, as everything feeling different meant the Looney Tunes show would meet its untimely end due to cancellation. Cancelled too soon. Cancelled too soon. Did kids not like tongue-in-cheek sitcoms? Probably. But the show that had an identity of its own would meet its untimely end after two seasons and 52 episodes. Probably my favorite sitcom. Yeah, I'd say so. In the end, we find ourselves with the fact that, with time, this show has grown to be remarked as unique and funny in its own way. Gone was a majority of the slapstick, and Return was this dry and witty humor that wasn't appreciated enough, in my earnest opinion. Overall, though, it is a fun piece of Looney Tunes history that deserves to be looked at. Go check it out. Thank you. That's all, folks. It's done with, I'm so done. Copy. Ibbity, ibbity, ibbity. That's all, folks. Like that? Want more? Subscribe.